Okay, I have finished my last row here, 20 rows in for the body of the sweater. If you like and you want to just leave it this way with the short sleeves because it's um, closer to spring now, you can. I would probably just suggest that maybe you take a, a needle in uh, your yarn and maybe you just kind of stitch here close because um, then the sleeve will look really big. However, if you want to go ahead and move on to add sleeves to the sweater um, as in the picture. The way we're going to do it here is we're going to be working underneath the, this part here of the sleeve. And this one is actually not closed shut till you finish. So basically we're going to be working here, um, doing our patterns, going across, turning and going back and forth like this for, uh, it says seven rows. So you're just going to be going to the end, turning it, going back, turning it. And then at the end is when you sew up the sleeve. Um, I know... Many of you are not fans of sewing, but that's just the way this pattern is drawn. Now I want to show you it's important that you start, you attach your yarn at the right place. So here, I'm just putting my arm through it so that we could show you here. So when you open it up, these are going to be your patterns here, right? Your little patterns. This part here is not considered part of the pattern because this is part of the body. So here, beginning when it's opened up there, this is our first pattern. And the instructions are calling for us to put our um, hook into the second chain of the first pattern. This is where our pattern begins. So here you can see that. Now then we're going to put our hook to attach our yarn in the second chain, meaning on top of the second double crochet. Okay? I hope I'm not being like giving too much info, but sometimes it's kind of confusing to know where are you going to attach your yarn. Once you put your hook in there, remember we're attaching into the back loop only. You're going to pull in your yarn, and um, I'm going to crochet both tails to make sure it stays in there. I'm going to do three chains, one, two, and three. And then when um, I sew it, um, weave in or crochet in my tails, I'm going to put a little bit of fray check there on that beginning chain to make sure it doesn't unravel and in my ending chain where I sew in my tails. So once you do your three chains there, it asks us to do one double crochet in each of the next six chains. So it's the same kind of thing we've been doing before. So you're going to do one double crochet. Let me put this down here. One double crochet in each of the next um, six chains, okay? So there is our first one. That tail is just going to have to be kind of woven in when you finish or sewn in. Two. Let me pull it out the way. Three. And six. Okay, and so when we start there on that chain, then it takes us here to our the middle of our next, the cluster that was below there. On here, remember we go through both chains. Through the entire chain, we're going to do three double crochets for a three double crochet cluster. Okay, guys, now when we come down here to this other side, you're going to do one double crochet in each of the next seven chains. So go ahead and do that, and then we will move on to the actual pattern that we're doing for the remainder of the row. Okay, here, so I've done the seven double crochets going down. I'm going to skip my two chains here, leave these two and work like we've been doing. And then our pattern simply repeats here. One double crochet in each of the next seven chains, three double crochets in that middle chain, and then when you go around to the other side and you're coming down, then you will also just do the same thing, seven double crochets in each of the next, uh, one double crochet in each of the next seven chains, skip two, and repeat that pattern until you get, till you complete your seven uh, double crochets here on the other side of the sleeve. Then from there, you're going to chain three, you're going to turn it around, and you're going to repeat the same um, uh, pattern for seven rows. So it's going to be the same thing. No more increases or decreases. This is it. So let me show you how we would turn it around. I'm sure you could probably figure it out now. So go ahead and finish your seven crochets here, going one in every chain going up. Your three double crochets are in the top. And then you come down and do your seven double crochets, one in each chain on this other side of your work. Okay, as you can see, I finished my pattern here. So remember, you're going to repeat this for um, 
until you have uh, seven of these rows, okay? So here's our first row. Remember, when you repeat your pattern, only in the first de uh, on the first design will you have six shells going up, and then your three double crochets and seven down. After that, you're going to have one double crochet in each of the next seven chains in the back loop only. When you get to the middle, then I want you to do your three double crochets to make your three double crochet cluster. You're going to work your way down on the other side, one double crochet in each of the next seven chains. And then that design just repeats itself, skipping two, going up, set one in every seven, three double crochets, and then one in every seven going down. You're going to do that all the way around. When you get to the end, you're going to chain your three. Um, you're going to do your three double crochets here. I'm at the end of my row here, right? So I've done already, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've done my seventh one. Once I get there, um, it tells us that once we do our seven crochets, we're going to go ahead and do our three chains. We're going to flip our work over, and we're going to repeat the same thing. Remember, here is the only one on the beginning chain. Uh, beginning design is the only place that you have six double crochets. You're going to skip your first two, one, two, and you start here. And you're going to be doing your same design until you have seven rows. Do that for both sleeves. And then when we finish both sleeves, I will come back and show you how to show, uh, sew it shut. If you already know how to do it, you can go ahead and sew it. But you're going to do that for both of your sleeves. Make sure when you attach your second sleeve that you're starting here on top of that second um, chain or else your stitches um, won't fall in the right place, meaning it won't fall into the middle of your clusters and you want to continue to see it's going to follow that same design all the way across and that way your sleeves will match up perfectly with the rest of the body of your sweater. So go ahead and do that for both sleeves. Okay, both of my sleeves are done and see you leave them like that, it just looks like little wings. Fly baby, fly! Just kidding. So now when you do that you're going to want to sew these up, the sleeves here. What we're going to do then is, I don't want the seam to show on the outside of the sweater, so you're going to turn your sweater inside out, okay, and these are the tails you're going to have to sew in, okay. So in order to sew it, to sew up your sleeves, here is the face here, you're going to get a yarn needle or something long enough for the a big enough eye for your thread to go, yarn to go through. Do it here, and I pull out about maybe 14 inches. I don't want to, you don't want to do too long because you don't want it to uh, tangle. So there's two different. You can. Um, what I'm going to do here, I guess there's two different different ways of sewing it. Here, I want to make sure that I want to sew it here where the first. Um, See where that opening is where we skip two works? I want to start sewing it here um, because I want that pattern to continue all the way up, okay? And if you want to uh, make it more even, you could put little safety pins to hold your work in place so that you know you're not pushing your work over. It's really up to you. I'm just going to use my hand. I'm going to put just a safety pin here at the last stitch just to make sure that that one doesn't um, scoot over too much but that this is optional you don't have to do that I'm just going to do it here to hold my sleeve so I know that if it starts slouching or pulling I know that I'm going too far because remember you're going to be able to match you're going to match your rows here okay so you're going to stay there so here I'm going to begin like I said if you open it up the very first row here where we did that row 11. I'm going to put it together and I'm going to stick my yarn. In this one I will stick it through both. There. I'm going to pull out my yarn and I'm going to tie it here. If you do it a different way, you can do it a different, whatever way you want. And oops, I should have tied it with a longer tail so that I could sew that tail in afterwards. So Maybe you'll, you might want to do that. I can still sew it in. And then I'm going to put my hand underneath my work. And you're going to do it whichever way you feel comfortable with. And now here, you want to make sure 
that your work is aligning, meaning that every row is corresponding with the row it goes to because you don't want it to be crooked, okay? So if you look at it flat this way, see how all our rows are together? That row matches this row all the way up. So, I'm going to open it up a little bit. And now, depending on which type of stitching you do, I'm going to go from one here into my other stitch there. There. And then I'm going to go the same way all the way up. So we see these two, there's two there, two there, and we have our stitch that we're skipping. So every other chain, look at this, look at that. And then I go back into that same one again, because I want to tighten it. And then you want to make sure, like I said, that once we start here, see, all our rows have to match. If I open it up, this row will be there, matching with my next row, okay? Because you don't want your seams to be uneven. So here, if we open them up like this, this row matches. It, the, the seam here matches there, and this one meets there, meets there, meets there, all the way up. This is just the way I do it. And see how this, the ridges here, there's that stitch here, and that same stitch, it's meeting there. I want to make sure that I sew them together so that all of my seams or my ridges, what I mean by my seams, I mean these ridges here, how they're going together here. You want that same thing to happen underneath the seam. And then they will all match up. You don't want them to be. Um, like one on top of the other. You know. It's kind of like if you have pinstriping on an outfit, you want them to all match. So continue doing that all the way up, and you will sew both of your sleeves together in this way. When you get to here, then of course you would tie off on your last stitch. You're going to tie off um, your uh, yarn here, make a knot, and then we're going to sew in all our tails when we're finished. So when you finish, see how the seam is here underneath, but when you open it up on the other side, you won't see the seam. It'll be kind of hidden. So go ahead and sew up both sides of your sweater. If you have a different way that you sew yours up, then feel free to do that. This is just the way that I do it, so that this way I can make sure that all of my um, of my um, lines are going to meet. My rolls are going to match up exactly. So continue doing that all the way up. Okay, I've sewn the sides of my sleeves up and now I've turned it back right side out. And you can see when you do it that it doesn't really show, the seams don't show very much. And they're underneath the arm anyway, so it's kind of a good place to hide them. Then you're going to sew in your tails. So now to finish the the sweater, we're going to make a little area here around the neck where um, your ribbon is going to um, thread to through for the neck. If you don't want to, um, if you don't want to put a ribbon, you could also chain like 150 chains and just use that little uh, chain as your um, tie, like we did in the little yellow hoodie sweater. So here, what you're going to do on the top, let me get this closer so you can see what I'm doing. Here, I think that light was making a weird reflection. So you're going to get here to the top of your sweater. Here's the neck area. So on the top here, your top chain there, is where you're going to stick in your hook. You're going to pull out your yarn there, and this is where you're going to attach it. I'm going to make, make it kind of long there so that I could um, hook it all together. I'm going to do chain. It tells you to chain. Um, four chains, one, two, three, and then four. Okay. And now, on the top here, you're going to see the little chains, basically here, every little double crochet there. It tells you to skip one 
a geese chase here. You're going to skip there. Let me move the camera here. Sorry, guys. So I did my four chains. Stuck it there. I'm going to skip my next chain. And then this next chain, you're skipping one. And the next one, I'm going to do a double crochet. Okay? And see, this is going to be making that little opening for your yarn. Now, when you do the double crochet, you're going to chain two. One, two, skip the next chain, and then the chain after that, you do another double crochet. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Now you're going to repeat that again. One, two, skip the next chain, and then the one after that, you're going to do your double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around, and this will be create the little opening where your um, ribbon will go through to do your tie for your neck. Okay, I finished that stitching all the way around. And so here I'm on the other side of the neck, um, on the other edge. And here it's calling for us to go ahead and cut our yarn. Um, but I don't want to break it because it's just going to, what you're going to do here is going to do one single crochet all the way around the entire sweater. So instead of cutting it and then attaching somewhere else, I'm just going to start doing my single crochet here. So here when you get to the end, I've done my last stitch there. Okay. So now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work over. And when I do my double crochet, my single crochets, I'm going to do one in the middle. See these going up? Our double crochet um, post. I'm going to do one single crochet in there, okay, and then one single crochet, it would have been in the ridge here, it's going to be one here in the little ridge, and I'm hiding, I'm tucking in that tail that I had from when I started originally, and then here once again, one single crochet, and then one in the middle, Make sure you go into the actual post because when you just go like this, it's going to be a big post. So here I did one in the post, and now in that ridge, I'm going to do one more. So it's going to be one single crochet in the ridge, one in the middle of the post of your double crochet, and then here's the ridge again. See what I mean by the little ridge? And I'm going to put in my next single crochet. Now we're back at the post here. So here I'm going to go into that post there. Do my next single crochet. Here's the ridge again. I'm going to do my single crochet in there. And I'm going to continue that way all the way around. One in the middle of the, of the crochet post. And then one in our ridges. So you're going to do that all the way around. When you get here to the corner, to the end, bottom edge, when you get here, uh, you do your single crochet. And when you, when you do it here, then you can turn the corner, it's easier to put at least two or three in that corner. It doesn't ask for that, but if you just try to do one and then go to the other one, it's going to kind of like tuck up. So here in this corner, what I would recommend maybe putting three, three single crochets, and then when you turn over, you're working on one single crochet in each chain. So you're going to do that all the way around your, um, your um, sweater. As you're doing your single crochets all the way around, remember you're going to go all the way around the sweater, including the top part here, where you did. So you're going to do all the way around single crochet until you get to your beginning point. This is um, this is so the middle where you would stop, and here is where we would begin doing the peacock stitch. At that point, I am going to change to a white yarn so that it will kind of contrast a little bit with the sweater. Okay, I almost, I'm almost done going around the entire sweater with a single double crochet. I'm coming to my last stitch here, and here I'm going to change colors to a white um, color to do my peacock edging. To do the peacock edging, then to change my colors of my yarn, when I stick my hook into my Next chain, I'm going to pull out, instead of pulling out the orange or the peach color, I'm going to pull out my white there, and then I've already cut my uh, peach color. I'm going to tie off 
make a knot with my white and my orange. I'm going to trim them off a little bit here. Twist them, and then I'm going to bury these. Um, try to bury them as much as I can as I go around. Now, for what, what you're going to be doing here, once you have your um, color changed, you're going to do a peacock stitch. So you're going to have to do a single, single chain. And now here we have all our chains along this edge. So now there's no guesswork. You know exactly where you're going. You're going to do a single chain in each of the next four chains. Okay, so you're going to do one, two, you see how I'm trying to bury those toes, three, and four. So see, it's changing, it's giving us a contrast there. Once we do the four chains, we're going to um, chain four. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to go back and slip stitch. Let me see if I can get this any closer. I don't know if I can do that. Okay, I've done cha four chains, and then you're going to slip stitch into that first um, chain or the first base. Okay, and that makes that little um, point. And now you go again and continue that way all the way around, chaining four chains. One, doing one single crochet in each of the next four chains. Four, and then once you do your four. You're going to do another peacock stitch. You're going to do that all the way around the entire sweater until you get here where you began. And then you're going to do the very same thing on the bottom edge of your each one of your sleeves. That's going to be the last remaining um, step to do. And then your sweater will be complete. Now you just need to take your uh, uh, a ribbon or if you're going to do the chain, you're going to put it through there. I didn't like the way this orange is a little too bright, so I'm going to try to get either white ribbon or a not light color peach and then weave it through there. So go ahead and work your peacock stitches all the way around your sweater edge. When you do that there, do the four, come back, and slip stitch into the first stitch there. Then you go back again and start four chains in each of the next four chains. One chain in each of the next four chains, excuse me. Oops, lost the yarn there. And do the same thing around the bottom edge of your sleeves. And then we'll come back and take a look at how it looks when it's all complete. Okay, everyone, as you can see, I finished the sweater. I've done the edging, our little peacock edging all around the bottom and uh, around the sleeves here. And here, of course, then I've done, I, uh, just woven this ribbon around the neck. I'm going to be changing it to a white ribbon right now. I didn't have a white ribbon so I just used this pink one so I can show you guys what it would look like. And now you can see how it really drapes really nicely. Uh, and then here is the back. Now you can see here where our patterns were, those repetitions that we were doing, how it started small and it got bigger. And look at how beautiful that is. Um, and uh, I hope you will really try this. I think it's, it just comes out so delicate and lacy. I know it was a lot of work, but hang in there. I think it's really worth it. You're really going to enjoy it. And I hope you will hit the like button and subscribe. And really enjoy this. Uh, see the edging here and the ribbon. I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit the like button and that just lets me know that you enjoyed it and you want more of these kind of videos. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the delay. Um, anyway, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much.